wanted to give a little build update. This has been a long process, and I don't find a whole lot of time to get out here and work on this thing, but I meant to get some video clips as I was reassembling this thing, and I can maybe insert some pictures if I can figure out how to do that uh, with some video editing software, but things are going back together here. I'm going to have to put this thing to sleep for probably a month as I'm going out of town for work, but just putting the injectors back in. Um, what I have here and what the engine shop did was, uh, I guess, a full rebuild on this. We put new new rings, piston rings. We machined the pistons to enlarge the bowl, and I have, I have the old engine and block here. And what they did was they actually machined the lip out of the bowl. You can see my damaged pistons here from that unfortunate valve to piston contact. They enlarged that bowl and did a compression check on, uh, a compression ratio check with what I have there. And I should be at about 16 to one versus the 16.8 to one stock compression ratio. So we've lowered compression ratio a little bit. Um, I've got dark side springs, valve springs, and we had to to make those work with the with the Colt cams that I have. They had to machine the spring pockets a little bit uh, to get just the right range of motion for those springs without spring bind. Pretty sure that spring bind was an issue and part of the cause of the failure here. Uh, another issue that I'm I'm having here with the turbo, and yeah, pardon the mess, I barely get a chance to work on this thing hardly ever, but I'm going to send this thing out to, I don't know how it happened or what happened to this turbo, but it doesn't spin as freely as it should. It turns nice and straight, there's no visible damage of anything, but I mean it's just kind of tight. Uh, so I'm going to box it up. And next week, I'm going to send it to Bullseye Turbos in Muskegon, Michigan. And they're going to go through it and check everything over for me to make sure that everything's right with it. Um, been considering going a different route with the turbo. But but anyways, back to the to the, the rebuild here. We uh, The engine shop inspected the crank. They polished the crank. Uh, it's all new. Uh, main bearings, rod bearings, and I went with the KS sputter bearings. I guess those are maybe a little tougher. What else? Um, integrated in engineering Tuscan connecting rods. They clearanced everything. They checked everything out with the um, with the wrist pins and made sure everything is good there. So I, I appreciate his local engine shop, Barrel Engine in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Help me with that. So now we have... Uh, main studs, head studs, uh, port and polished head, upgraded valve springs, the Colt Stage 2 cams, Bobby Singh injectors, uh, the CP3 pump, and, and that's going to be going back on. So hopefully should be able to put 300 horsepower to the wheels. We'll see. Um, what else did I want to tell you about? That's about it. I I hate to have to leave this now for for probably a month uh, before I can actually get it finalized and put back together. But uh, really looking forward to seeing what this thing can do. I've got this Dark Side Developments exhaust manifold, and I've been toying with the idea of actually going with their big their big turbo for this, which should easily make greater than 300 horsepower to the wheels so long as the fueling is sorted. So we'll see what happens with my turbo and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.